Well, viewers, g'day. This is uh, this is an Electra Beckham 14-inch bandsaw BAS316, now owned by Metabo, or it might have even been owned by Metabo in those days, but it's now no longer manufactured as an Electra Beckham. They're built as a, a Metabo. Now, the issue of, I've had recently is that I've decided to give uh, this uh, an upgrade, as I have done recently to quite a lot of machines in the place, but before we talk about the upgrade I've done here, I want to show you what I found when I pulled it apart. And that is, these are the existing blade guides. This is the um, top blade guide, which goes like that and like that. And it has a bearing on a shaft in this hole, and these two pins get pushed up to go either side of the blade to steady it. And this one is bolted to this where that is except that that's busted and uh, these go on the bottom here except that they're cracked 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 you can see that I've actually repaired that one once before uh, so this is busted they're cracked and um, they're not fixable because they're made out of snot metal so I contacted Matabo to see whether or not I could just order a new set of these and I uh, can't they are no longer manufactured so I have decided to make my own and I'll show you what I've done there it's a little bit difficult to see but you can see up in there I'll describe it because I haven't got enough hands to hold the light and the camera but you can see that there's a knurled knob at the back now that knurled knob um, tightens up on the shaft which which is in the center of that bearing and the two bronze bushes i've built here push in and out through the top there and they've got little um, screws that tighten them down you can see that the blade is central in between the two bronze bushes but not touching and you can see that it's lined up with the side of the bearing it's actually not touching that either the idea is to have them so they're just not touching if you put a bit of weight on the blade it'll touch it and won't go backwards too far and stretch and put um, fractures in the back of the blade now uh, up the top here at the top here you can see that I have got that um, lock nut there and a lock nut there and there's the two little bronze bits and I can actually get at these bronze bits from underneath to to adjust them same as I can get at that knurled knob see my fingers are on that and I can get at that um, back of that shaft from underneath here to, so it's possible now for me to adjust this without taking this cable off so the, the next thing I made was the top one because it was buggered over there busted so I, I designed this and then got it plastic printed. Now this little shaft here pops in from the front. It just goes pop because the hole is slightly bigger than that distance there. And then it locks up just simply by putting a bit of weight on that. So I can just loosen that off and then I can move that in or out. Same on this side to get these two in exactly the right place. And with the back one, it's a matter of loosening this bolt. So, and then I can just push that forwards or backwards to come up to the right place with the bearing. So you can see I've managed to um, overcome overcome the issue. So there you go. That's my upgrade. While I was at it, I gave this top plate a good big clean. Cleaned all this up here. I remanufactured that so that it's nice and easy to lock up. And and what else? Oh, the inside's all done. New blades. Everything's good. So I'm really happy with this. Anyway, that's um, that's how to overcome that that um, lack of parts available in Australia.